The holy grail of astronomy is to find a planet capable of supporting life. European researchers have taken a big step forward in that quest, discovering a planet just twice the size of the Earth. And while this planet is too hot to sustain life, astronomers speculate that another larger one orbiting around the same star could contain water and perhaps even some form of alien life. Richard Lindell reports. At 21 light years away, the discovery of a planet almost as small as the Earth is a big deal. Stefan Udry is one of the astronomers at Geneva University that made the discovery. It's a new step forward. The lightest planet before was more than four Earth masses. Now we are below two Earth masses. It demonstrates that we can find Earth mass planets. On a more fundamental level, it also demonstrates that Earth-like planets actually exist outside the solar system. But Gliese 581e orbits too close to its star to support life. It's a different story for another, much larger planet orbiting around the same star. Professor Fred Watson is the astronomer in charge of the Anglo-Australian Observatory near Coonabarabran in New South Wales. Gliese 581d, which was found about two years ago, is um, probably within uh, the, the star's habitable zone, uh, which some of us call the Goldilocks zone because it's that region around a star where the temperature is not too hot and it's not too cold, but it's just right for liquid water to exist. Uh, so it is possible that if um, Gliese 581d has a, a rocky surface, that there may be liquid water on that surface, and that would make it, as we understand it today, that would make it habitable. But it's not universally agreed that a rocky surface is needed to support life. Professor Paul Francis at the Australian National University. Some people think it might well be a liquid planet entirely covered in ocean many hundreds of kilometres deep. And so in principle it might be quite a pleasant place with liquid water and waves and maybe even some sort of marine life forms. Associate Professor Peter Tuttle at the University of Sydney says the discovery is remarkable but falls short of the Holy Grail. They found one planet that fits the mass criteria and around the same star, quite remarkably, they found a second planet which is at the right radius. But you really, to win the big prize, you would want both of these things to happen at the same time. But the planet hunters have come a long way in a short space of time. The first planet outside the solar system was discovered just 15 years ago. Now more than 350 have been found. And today's discovery of a planet around the Earth's size 21 light years away is pushing the limits of technology. For that reason, Professor Fred Watson is both excited and cautious about this latest find. You have to remember that observations like these are extremely difficult to make and in particular when you're pushing your equipment down to the level of trying to find things that are about the mass of the earth then you really are looking almost in the noise of the of the information that's coming back to you so it's something that we have to uh, at least um, r remain not skeptical about but but remain in in some level of doubt it's hoped new discoveries will be much easier to make with a Kepler Space Telescope launched by NASA last year. Its mission is to find 20 such planets over the next five years. Richard Lindell.